Connecting the dots across the diaspora is a way of life. When I got to Charleston, I'd known about the Gullah Geechee, I'd been aware of, of the Gullah Geechee Nation, um, I knew sounds and rhythms, and then something kept clicking, and I'm hunting warm weather, so I'm in spaces and places where sounds and rhythms. I had been blessed to walk a certain path in this life. And when we get together, it is connecting the dots across the diaspora. And there are many people who are searching and hunting and they're getting caught up in labels. Don't get caught up in the labels, baby. We're all one. From the time you hear the rhythm drop, whether the language being spoken is Kikongo, Spanish, French, Gichi, Gala, there's so many other varieties. Pato, it, well, I can't even say it's an issue of Pato because I heard, oh, I heard some things and When you get to see the Maya, it's interesting to stand there and witness Kumana, knowing that you've been to a Tambo. It's all one. It intensifies and verifies and validates and supports one spiritual walk that you've been on for quite a while. Though raised in Jamaica from 7 to 14, the exploration of my spiritual endeavors have been in the United States. I would say the foundation was definitely Jamaican. It's something to attending Catholic school and being confirmed an Anglican. Yet, it's a 30-year walk. <laughs> It owes your life, but even in the midst of that, the Apollo life. And when you see, feel, and experience Kumana, hey, that's the Apollo life. <laughs> <laughs> um, some things are to be experienced. They cannot just be explained away. They cannot just be a measure of using academic terms to fulfill somebody else's thoughts. No, it's foot to ground putting the work in. It's rum spraying, it's cigar smoking, it's being a vessel. And many don't allow themselves to be vessels. Hmm. Your spiritual walk especially for those who have traveled away from homelands of their peoples. Understand and know what you feel in your head and feel in your heart and your spirit is asking you to do. Step into it. There are many things that keep us brown, grounded in John Brown country. And one of them happens to be Spiritual culture. Everybody ain't got to run far. Everybody ain't got to go. You got to excuse me. See, my egg one, I know. They cheap as heck. Um, so, nah. You see something majorly expensive come out of me, somebody else can pay for it. <laughs> I ain't lying. <laughs> we find ways... I, as far as I'm concerned, to uh, achieve my moments, um, I, don't even, I don't ask how. It's like the assignment is given. Somewhere in your spirit accepts the assignment, and then the universe conspires to um, 
let the situation go down. Now, am I still a little delirious? Yes, I am. Did I basically hear drums straight from... Well, hell, I was there for sound check for Tambu Fest, so from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. When you see, I actually, I think I had, what, one battery left? Shut it down, baby. Because sometimes you just got to listen here and see and feel. Did I get some stuff for you? Hell yeah. Why? Because we got to wake up some energies across the diaspora. Y'all can't just be out there all willy-nilly. You're not alone. I know sometimes you're in some spaces and places. Father, I do. I want to make so-and-so. I want me to do so-and-so. Yo, it's all about the end game. But that doesn't mean that you're out there unsupported. We walk with a spiritual army. Everyone of you. You know how to recognize me not ask you for the that. Because someone on, you know, church are your thing. Well, when we walk on the earth, I'm in church. I'm allowed to rise, I'm in church. So my church move different. The forces of nature never stop. And they had the waves outside. <laughs> Just know that, um, yeah, we're there for you, we are more for you. And it's all about waking up the spirit. Yes, it is connecting the dots across the diaspora. Yes, it is, are you ready for Jamaica? Because some are around the holy place, you know, but I yard you for touchdown, because the answers them there. So you have to look for how your, 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 your spiritual navel string went there. <laughs> There's a reason why they would plant that in the ground. Many a tree, many a tree there, yard with people named upon them, because what? I feel them navel string, that thing they'll grow there. Means they're connected to the earth, to this earth, to this land. I don't think my navel string made it here, but my spirit, hey, empowered. Mm. Hey, by hey, by hey, by hey, by hey, Priscilla Ward Griffiths, and I'm P Walk with me all the time. He by hey, Mary Jane Wright Malliot, he by hey, Lucille May Wilson Pitt, he by hey, Charles Octavius Pitt, he by hey, Clifford Wilson, he by hey, Ernest Pitt, he by hey, he by hey, by hey, Solar and me, I by hey. Listen, be grateful to those who have walked before you because they have left past. Yes, I washed in the waters of the volcano. Modupwe Baba Charles Ibae. Modupwe to my tata, even though I ain't seen him in God knows when. But when you've been spit out by two volcanoes, you go live your walk. I said, go buck it up and do warrior style. Some are gonna get this. Some ain't gonna understand it. Talk about Brenda Spout and that stuff again. It's okay. Cause what me about to lick you with now the next few days? <laughs> Be ready. That's all I'm saying. Open your hearts. Open your minds. Definitely open your spirit. Because the Mayal is real. And Miami. <laughs> Good morning. I got to go learn some new words. <laughs> But I don't know, you know, so when I'm the egg on them, I can jump up and say, boom, they recognize. They were so good. They were really, really good. They knew it was important for us to document the situation. Now, when I put it, so I'm going to put it side by side with stuff from the Gullah Geechee Nation. Mm, connecting the dots across the diaspora, baby. Let your spirit live.